trial of ex-state representative Peter Beck was originally slated to last four weeks. We told you it'd probably go long. Recently, the judge extended the time frame to five weeks, and now prosecutors say it could last even longer. Local 12's Rich Jaffe broke the story and was in court today as week four got rolling. He joins us now from the newsroom with more. Rich. Paula, the CEO of Christopher Technologies, John Fosner, has been on the stand since last Wednesday under direct examination by Assistant Attorney General Dan Caceres. Pete Beck was the chief financial officer for Fussner's largely bogus company. The case centers around Beck allegedly luring investors to pour millions of dollars into insolvent companies, and everyone involved, including Fussner, has agreed to testify against Beck in exchange for their own deals. Looking meek on the stand, John Fussner testified that thousands and thousands of investor dollars were used to simply pay daily expenses at Christopher Technologies. Frequently, in exchange for the money in the form of a loan, the investors got small shares of a company that did next to nothing. Fussner said Pete Beck, you see him here, became the company's chief financial officer in July of 2007. Beck watched his old partner impassively from the defense table. Fussner testifying he signed multiple promissory notes to those investors for $20,000, $30,000, even $50,000. He's pleading guilty to selling unsecured securities and selling securities in an insolvent company. Beck's lead attorney began his cross-examination explaining there's more than one possible version of the truth here. These guys have a plea agreement hanging over your head that says that plea agreement is no good unless you tell the truth according to them. But there are instances where that's not the truth, aren't there? I.e. the boat's letter. Yes. We want the truth. You got it? That letter that Ralph Conan's referring to deals with a pitch Fussner's company made to Carnival Cruise Lines. Conan maintains the prosecutors from the Attorney General's office want Fussner to testify that it was a fraudulent project just designed to bring in investor dollars. Fussner says it wasn't a fraud. Things should really start heating up tomorrow when Fussner returns to the stand and Beck's attorneys take a real run at him and we will be there. In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Paula? And Rich, in terms of a time frame here, obviously it has been extended. Does it look like this will wrap up in a couple of weeks? Can you tell? <laughs> I wish I could tell you. They have subpoenaed, I think, 30 different witnesses, and right now we're on number nine, if that gives you some sense of it. As you know, white-collar cases like this can be very, very specific. They can be really tough, and the hope is that they can keep Judge John Andrew West's attention focused on all of this as they sort through all of the wheat and the chaff. It is going to be a long haul for everyone in that courtroom. Yeah, that's a long list ahead of him. All right, thank you, Rich. And if he testifies honestly, John Fussner's deal with the Attorney General will not result in him doing any prison time. Beck, on the other hand, is now charged with at least 39 felonies, which, if he's convicted, could send him to prison for decades.